Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Games with Richie. I'm your host, Richie. Welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, just a word from our sponsors. Shout out to people at Seek Geek. I'm lying, I have no sponsor anyway besides the point. I want to shout out myself and the 10,000 viewers that checked out this video right here. Our video finally hit 10k views on the how to rep system works on 2k19, blah blah blah. Anyway, the point is I want to shout everybody out that watched that video. It's a big milestone for me and I'm super excited that we hit 10k on it. I see that you guys really enjoy all my 2k videos. I get a lot of feedback. So here's a 2k video for you guys right now. Now, if you guys enjoyed this and want more 2K videos, make sure to like and comment below. Let's try to hit 25 likes on this video. I have another gameplay. This video hits the goal of 25 likes. I'll drop that one for you guys, all right? So let's get right. For this video, we got pulled up by two elite threes, all right? I'm gonna let you guys know right now, we are not comp. I know you guys are gonna see our gamer tags and be like, yo, yeah, I got matching gamer tags. How are you not comp? My clan, my team, my group is literally all friends that we all know IRL, all right? We just got matching gamer tags. This is not comp. We don't recruit people, so we're not comp, right? But these people pulled up on us. It's a pure stretch four elite three. You already know those are the cheesiest builds in this damn game, all right? So they pulled up on us. They try to be low key with it. And you're gonna see what happens. You're gonna see what happens. So, like I said, we're not comp. They pulled up on the random spots, not the squad spot, because they didn't want to see it. They didn't want us to see that they were elite threes. Yeah, I didn't have it. Look at how this game starts us off. 2K! They started off with a fake traveling violation on an inbound against comp, okay? But it's alright, because your boy got the steezies. You already know that, man. They inbound the ball. I'm right there. I get the tip. I get the steal. We got the ball right back. It's 0 0. It's literally how we started it, alright? Right now, I'm doing this little mm, 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 cause I have to get the recording ready, cause I know we about to drop them off. I drive in, get the big, big dunks, alright? My pure shot creator is goaded, okay? It's really, really goaded, alright? So we took up the lead. It's 2 0, alright? My look at this. All you're gonna be, oh, this game is gonna literally be all picks and, and, and zigzags, alright? See, my man cut to the basket. I'm like, let me see how smart these people are. Big IQ play, alright? Big IQ play. I see the center cut down to the basket and try to get an easy two is not gonna work I got the passing lane if you know how to play passing lanes this year you're listen you're gonna be amazing okay you don't need pure lockdowns to play passing lanes I got a pure shot creator with the smallest wingspan getting getting passing lane steals alright so here we go I got this man jumping kick out to my center he gets an easy dunk we took the lead 4-0 right now okay we up a good two possession against comp okay you guys got to make sure that you just keep taking your twos. Don't always settle for the threes. No matter what, comp, randoms, whoever you play, don't settle for threes because then you miss a shot or you, you miss two shots. And now you're trying to play catch a ball. Now you're forcing threes. Just take easy twos, okay? We're playing clamp defense. Look at this defense. Pure elite three, stretch four, kicks it out. I'm dumb. I drop down to get the rebound, excuse me. And I don't get it. It's okay. It's fine. We're just gonna get back. Listen, you learn from your mistakes. I figured I would get the rebound. I already know how this was. My center's helping on the screens. So I figured that he wasn't gonna be able to get the rebound. So I was like, let me take a chance and get the rebound. But it bites me in the ass. So I don't do it again, all right? You gotta learn from your mistakes. We still up 4-3, they foul. We're inbounding the ball, boom. I give it to my pure sharp. Sharp kicks it back out. We take it, I take it back court. Dribbling up the court. Like I said, I'm, I'm playing retarded because I'm still trying to make sure that everything is right. So I'm recording this game plan. I kick it out to my center. Boom. Like I said, take the easy twos. There's no reason for you to be doing all this dribble, drabber, blibble, black, bloom, shooting threes. Don't need to. Take the easy lead, right? And we'll be good. My pure sharp clamping up the other pure stretch four, okay? This is good defense from him. He tries to pump fake it. My man is there still. He cuts to the basket. Center gets the easy dunk. It's fine. We still got the lead. 6 5. As long as we play. Aggressive, keep taking them twos, keep scoring, we're good. Kick out to the center, once again, take the easy two. The center in this, he's an elite three, he's playing like an idiot. I don't know what the hell is what's going on with that guy. He's trying to play the inbound steal, it's just not working. I see my man, they pass out to the corner, boom. My center jumps, it's all right, he recovers, boom. He gets the, tries to, the pure stretch four, always looking for a bailout three, bro. It's not working out, my man is there, okay, we're good. All right, they kick out, boom, pure sharp. My pure sharp gets the two. It's all right. Listen, I know I'm probably selling at this game, but it's okay. I got two points, three steals. Pause. Two points, three assists, two steals. We good. Look. Ooh. Cooking up. Give me that green. You already know what time it is. Look, if you're going to take the three, make sure it's 100%. Like, make sure the shot is 100%. Like, don't be pulling up threes that you kind of lightly contest that you think that you might make. Nah, don't work that way, all right? Look. He kicks out. My sharp. I see him. Look. Play the passing lane again. I should have had that. They gave me a 
fake animation still. But I should have had that passing lane too. Listen, you gotta play the passing lane. Get these little comp players real scared. Because they see that you're playing passing lanes, they're gonna be nervous to throw those balls. Pause. What? What? They're gonna be real nervous to throw the pass. Because they know that you're smart enough to play the passing lane. Anyway, they get an easy three. Well, not really easy. You know how this works. Anyway, look. Kick out to my sharp. He almost pulls that. That would have been a terrible shot. So good thing he passes out of it. Look, I take the little midi. Where was that lightly contested? Where? This game is real. <laughs> You'll be in the face of a pure sharp and they'll still make it highly contested. Where's the skill gap? Doesn't matter. Whatever. We get back. My center gets the rebound. He throws it up. They shoot a stupid shot. We get the rebound. We're up three points. We're up a good possession. I lag a little bit. You see that? Look, we take the little zigzag. I cut in. They get a fake steal. I was going to kick out to the center. They get a fake steal, whatever, besides the point. Anyway, look. Boom. My center plays the passing lane. We good. He jumps again. Got to stay on your feet, but it's okay because we'll get back. He recovered good enough. Let's, let's, let, 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 he learned from mistakes, right? Let's go. Boom. He inbounds it to me. I see my man cutting, but I was like, listen, stay back. We got this. Stay in the corner. I'm coming up this court. Boom. Locks me up. It's cool. I'm waiting for the pick. I'm lagging again. That's all I do in this 2K shit is lag all day, right? Anyway, he's clamping me up. I'm still waiting. Like, yo, let's get a fake steal. Look, this is what I was doing. I was pulling out a play. I wanted my center. Listen to this play. This play is really good, all right? It works a lot of the time, ready? Good kick out to him. I got an easy little layup. Anyway, look. Really good play for you guys that need to get a quick basket. And you guys use picks. If you use picks all game, you're constantly using picks. It's a good way to mess with the minds of the defense. All you do is call for a pick and tell your big that you're going to fake pick. So he's going to come, set you a pick, and literally once he presses B to give you a little pick, cut straight to the basket. It's going to be open all the time because the defenders are, like, communicating to pick you up. So they're not going to realize how quick he's going to cut down to the base, to the, to the basket. Easy too. Anyway, look. They get an inbound. Once again, my center plays the passing lane. Good shit. And it's our ball. 2K. 2K! They sold it on us. I mean, I'll take the... Listen, they sold... They sold dumb, but we good. Uh, I mean, I ain't tripping. Look, easy to basket. It's just so easy when you just have to settle with twos and not settle with threes because you're in the lead. You constantly keep taking the lead, just keep scoring twos. Twos, twos, somatic, somatic, somatic. You always stay in the lead because you're just scoring easy buckets. So just keep taking your twos. There's no reason to be forcing threes. It's not that serious. Anyway, pure stretch four gets the easy bailout three. We already know how that rocks, so it doesn't even matter. Look, boom. <clears throat> Woo! I take the little baseline, pull back, kick out. I'm like, hold on, let's reset it. Let's reset it. I get the ball again. Boom, look at this move. Freeze him, look. Stupid! Oh, my God, I had him spinning, bro. Stupid. I'm stupid nasty with a pure shot creator, man. I'm literally stupid, stupid, stupid nasty with it. You see that little fake spin into the... Oh, my God. It was sweet. 15-19. Clamped up. Clamped up. My pure sharp is clamping in Elite 3. Pure stretch 4, brother. Mandum ting. How are you... Like, what, man? Come on, bro. You play this game way too often. If you're Elite 3 and you over here with the energy to pull up on us, try to be low-key and not even have the, the confidence to step on the squad spot. And you getting dropped off like this, my guy? Come on. You already know. Like I said... Bail out, bail out three. It's okay. Game is pretty much over. We got a 1918. All we gotta do is score two. All we gotta do is score two. We you straight. I bring the ball up. Boom. Catch him with a little hezzy. Boom. Easy cut to the basket. Get my center the easy two. Listen, listen. These comp players. Look out. Look at the totals. Look, they didn't shoot bad. Seven for nine, but we shot great. Ten for eleven. Yes, my my yes, my pure sharp didn't even shoot a basket. It's okay. He was being great on defense. He was guarding probably the best player on the court. He did his part, okay? Listen, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like it up. Like I said, let's do 25 likes, okay? I have my second video that I'm going to drop for you guys if we hit the goal for this one. It's a center. It's my center build. It's going to be a gameplay with my center. Goated, bro. Goated. I'm going to let you guys know on that build and everything like that. If you guys want to know what build this is, Pure Shot Creator, I'll give you everything you need to know. Just make sure you like it up. Comment below and let me know if you guys enjoyed. Two Elite Threes pull up on us and they got dropped off. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like these gameplays, let me know. I love you guys. Big deuces. See y'all later. Peace.